the reverse linkage project between Uganda and Pakistan on establishing of a large authentication laboratory is going to specialize in evaluating and endorsing the quality, safety, and compliance of various businesses. Professor Ismail Simba Jagenda, Director, Islamic University in Uganda, underscored the importance of the RR laboratory. The establishment of this laboratory will really help the country and the nation, uh, the, the region to have, not only have a good system of authenticating halal products, but also enable this country and the region to access the huge halal market out there. I would like to thank IDB again for uh, responding to our call and generously contributing uh, over $264,000 that is going to help to equip the, the library. Uh, the Deputy Mufti Muhammad Ali Waiswa says the awareness about Harari food and products has increased due to the cross contamination of several industrial products. However, the Muslim countries need to establish halal testing laboratories to ensure the halal status of the consumer product. C. I would say that the laboratory that we are here to launch, it is where we shall conduct research and collect data to support fatwa decisions. How do we deliver fatwa without basically, especially for ensuring the products that do not use haram or impure ingredients which are prohibited in Islamic faith. So there is a big connection between our work as muftis and uh, what the laboratory is going to conduct. The Pakistan High Commissioner to Uganda, Muhammad Hassan Wazir, laid the foundation stone for the construction of the Halal Authentication Laboratory at IU Kaboja campus. A place which train industrial partners, a, a, a research center which conduct original research in the field of halal products, and of course a certified internationally accredited laboratory which provide very high quality testing services. So you are actually embarking upon a journey of establishing something really big. And that is the reason. The Halal Authentication Laboratory is also aimed at enabling the country to access the huge Halal industrial market of over $2.5 trillion around the world. Robert Katamba and Mike Wakawrindi, UBC News. Uh, uh, uh,